Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing and hanging out with us for a bit. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing our uh, Christmas binder with our Christmas and faith-based savings challenges. So if you are interested in that, I hope you'll stay tuned. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna insert this right after my intro and I think this is the third video that I am uploading where I am interrupting myself <laughs> because I forgot to tell you something. <laughs> one day you guys, one day. I hope. I don't make any promises that I will ever be fully prepared. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to let you know that um, Someone had reached out to me and asked me about my binder covers and whether I'm going to be selling them on Etsy. And the answer is no. Um, it's not something that I'm going to be selling. But if you are interested in the, and you like them, this is the front, this is the back. The back's probably all kinds of dirty. But um, it's the back is the same as the front without the quote. So here's your front and here's your back cover. And um, I am not going to be selling them on my Etsy because it's not something that I'm going to be, you know, making or anything like that. Um, but I did put them up on my Google Drive for you. So it is a freebie if you want to go um, and download it. The Google, My Google Drive is always linked in my uh, video description box. Um, so it is, I laminated mine. So I laminated and left like a little bit of lip here for hole punches, but the cover itself measures six by eight and a half. So if you are interested in the covers and you want, you, you don't want to download them yourself, um, they are available as a freebie in my Google Drive. Um, you can shrink it down to where it might, you know, it might fit in like a, an A6. But I don't think it will, I don't think the graphics and the the font will will stay like this. If you enlarge it, it's going to get a little fuzzy, I think. Um, but if you want to print it out and use it as this size, or if you want to shrink it down, it should, it should stay pretty well for you. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and say that because I forgot to tell you in my video, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, now we're going to... Go to my, um, my real intro. <laughs> All right. See you over there. Bye. All right, you guys, um, real quick before I get started, I just, I'm having the worst allergy day that I've had in a long time. So I'm really sniffly. Um, I'm going to try to get through this video without sniffling and blowing my nose in your ear. I hope and I pray <laughs> that I don't forget to edit this out because it's not going to be pretty if I forget to edit. Um, but anyways, if it's a little bit choppy, it's because I'm sniffling or I need to blow my nose. Um, but anyways, we're, we're going to try to get through it, you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so um, another thing. Um, my Bible bundle giveaway number four. The winner is Savings with Cass. So Cass... I think your name, uh, your name is Tarlisha. If you're watching this, please message me on Etsy to claim your, um, to claim your, your prize. Um, I announced the giveaway winner, um, on my Faith Friday that, uh, went up on September 11th. Let me see what that, what that one was. Um, it was... No, it went up on Faith Friday number 29. That went up on September 13th. Um, so that's when I announced the winner. I still haven't heard from you. Um, so I think um, in my giveaways, I'm going to have to end it. I'm going to have to put like a deadline to claim your prize um, so that I can move on and give it to someone else. Um, so if you're watching this, Savings with Cass, please message me on Etsy. Um, let's see, this is going up on Friday the 4th. Please message me on Etsy by, um, I'm going to say 
Tuesday, October 8th by 5 p.m. Pacific time. That way I can announce a new winner <laughs> on Wednesday. I can do another drawing and announce that new winner next week. So again, savings with Cass. You did win my Bible bundle number four. It was announced on Friday, September 13th, and I haven't heard from you. So please message me on Etsy by Tuesday, October 8th, 5 p.m. Pacific time. And um, unfortunately, if I don't hear from you by then, I'm going to have to do another drawing and give it away to somebody else. So, okay. <sighs> Business out of the way. Let's go ahead and get to our verse, our encouraging thought today, you guys. And when I read this, you guys, I actually got, like, I got all, all teary-eyed. And it's um, Isaiah 49, 15, and 16. Isaiah chapter 49, verses 15 and 16. And it says, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. You guys, it never ceases to amaze me how timely these words are. Like, October 4th could have been any any year. It could have been three years ago. It could have been three years from now, but it's today, October 4th. In light of the horrific situation that's going on right now, in the North Carolina mountains. Um, this is just so timely. And not only that, p places are devastated in Florida, in Georgia, in, um, in Tennessee, like so much devastation in the wake of Hurricane Helene that it, I, it's just, I watch it and I can't sleep because it is so horrible. Um, and these people have been in my prayers since since before. Well, here in Southern California, we were mainly seeing uh, Florida and Georgia in the news. We weren't seeing the Carolinas or Tennessee, you know, storm warnings for those places. But since I have been aware of the damage that they have sustained, they ha those communities, those people, those families who have loved ones in those areas, I've just been like lifting you all up in prayer. Just know that. And for these words today, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands, you guys. God is aware of us. He is aware of our situations and he's not going to forget us, even though it might seem like everyone forgets. Everyone just, you know, oh, that's really sad. Move on with their day. Um, God doesn't forget. He is aware of what you're going through. He is aware of those people who are in need. Um, yes, it was horrific. Yeah, people lost lives. Um, there are people who lost family members, people who haven't heard from family members. They don't know whether they've lost them or not because they, they haven't heard. Um, but God knows and God sees you. And if you are one of those people, he is there for you to comfort you. Just lean into him. Um, but gosh, I just, it's so timely. Like, it just, like I said, it never ceases to amaze me because this is just what I, I just what I needed to hear, even though I'm not even in that situation. Um, but anyways, just know that God sees you, he loves you, and he has not forgotten you, and he is acutely aware of your situation. And I am also lifting you all up in prayer, as I know many of us in this little faith community within the budgeting community we're all you know we are all prayerfully interceding for you so okay let's go ahead and get started um actually let me <laughs> hold please I'll be right back okay sorry about that okay so let's let's go ahead and get started you guys my nose is giving me a run for my money today. Okay, we have $50, so we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. I did try to grab some ones because for whatever reason, I always seem to be running out. I either run out or I have a lot. It's feast or famine with ones and me, you guys. Um, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna start here with our ugly sweater. But first, we have to do our Bible bundle giveaway. Okay, so for those of you who are new here, um, this is a savings challenge that I do over and over again. Once I complete it, I put the money to the bank, I buy a Bible, and we do a giveaway, and I send that to 
the winner with some little extra goodies. So this is a freebie that I created. It's in my Google Drive if you're interested, which is listed um, in the description below. And for each of these, I made each of these Bibles worth $2. You can make them whatever value you choose. Um, so for me, they're each $2. And when it's completed, I will save a total of $56. And we are working towards um, Bible bundle number five. Okay, so let's roll. And we got four. So let me find my pen. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Since they're each $2, I'm going to do eight. Two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to put one, two back, and I'm going to grab a 10, and then I'm going to take these two 10s, and I'm going to grab the 20. So we have $40 in here so far. Okay. Oh, we do have to do run, run our race, too, uh, because this is a collaboration that I am doing with Fiona over at Frugality is Life. So let me get my planner. And this is also a... Um, printable in my shop if you are interested in playing along. And um, we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, and Paul. And she and I are rolling um, twice. And whoever gets to the top first wins. Okay, so this is Run the Race, and the verse is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. And it says, Therefore, since we also have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us rid ourselves of every obstacle and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. I just love that verse, you guys. Okay, so we have agreed to roll two dice, one at a time. I'm going to roll mine twice. Um, two rolls, however you want to do it. Um, so I have a two and a six. Okay, so let me get my green and I'm gonna color in two and six. Oh, this is my first six, you guys. Okay, so that is eight dollars. So eight, nine, and ten again. So I'm gonna grab another ten and then let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put these back and grab a five. So I have 10, 20, $25 now in run your rate or run the race. And it looks like Matthew and Mark are tied. And it looks like I'm in the lead because I have, you know, I'm, I've got three here. Fiona. Oh, I shouldn't have put a line under there. The last time she rolled, she got a six and a one. So my little line actually, where's my orange pen? My little line should be here because she rolled a one. So not there. Okay, I'll just have to remember that. I'm going to remember, remember, remember that it's not that one. So she has rolled two ones, two twos, two fives, and two sixes. So she's really heavy in the two spot, you guys. <laughs> so um, anyways, that's where we stand on our race. And if you'd like to tune into hers, she does hers on Sunday. And we can see what she rolls on Sunday. So I have $25 going into this one so far. So, and I am so sorry for being rude. Please pardon me. How are you guys doing? How was your week? I hope you had a great week. Um, I am filming on Wednesday. And it's been kind of hectic for me, you guys. Not going to lie. Um, and it doesn't, I don't think it's going to let up. I think the rest of the week is going to be busy for me. But, um. But that's okay. It's busy. It's good. It makes my day go by faster. Um, and as long as my allergies are not bothering me, then, then it's good. So today was really hard because today was busy and my allergies were awful. And I'm going to stop complaining now because <laughs> you guys don't tune in to hear that. Okay, the next one is um, our not-so-ugly Christmas sweater. This is from my friend Char, the budgeting introvert. And they're really not so ugly, you guys. Look how cute those little animals are. So cute. And I forgot where we were, so I don't know where to start. So we'll just start at the top. Three, one, two, three. Okay, that's three dollars. Let's go again. Five, one, two, three, four, five. That's three dollars. Let's just finish. I'm gonna make an executive decision. 
All right, you guys, so we got a three, a three, and a five. So that is $11. So let's grab a 10 and a one and see what we have. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. And yes, it was a save 50, so we are right on the money, you guys. You know what, I'm gonna, should I take the last five? Oh, I'll take the five. <laughs> okay, so. We are going to call this one done. Yahoo! Yay! And now I'm going to go get my envelope because I'm not prepared as per usual. Hold, please. All right, you guys, I'm going to bring in this one. And this was from my shop. Um, and we are going to roll, as soon as I find a pen, um, we are going to roll because um, along the side here, we get to pick amounts for the green ornament, the red ornament, and the pink ornament. So let's just roll for the green one. Green is gonna be a dollar. I don't know where my black Sharpie is, so we're just using brown, you guys. <laughs> okay, uh, red, no, red can't be a dollar. Oops. Red is gonna be five. And then pink is going to be, no, not one. Not one, okay, let's roll the orange one. Not five, you guys. Really? Okay, pink is gonna be three. That was really difficult for some odd reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll and see where we're gonna go. Two, one, two. All right, it's a green ornament, so that's a dollar. And then it just occurred to me, hold please. It just occurred to me that we already did this envelope with the sweater, so we're gonna just put a dollar in this one for this time, and we are going to move on to our Romans Road. I should keep this out, you guys, I really should. Okay, so our Romans Road, I think we're doing green now, yes? Okay, so we were here, let's see where we're going. Six, so we have one, two, three, four, five and six. Our small icons are two dollars. So one and two. All right, let's go again. Four. One, two, three, four. One dollar. Let's go again. Four, one, two, three, four. You guys, we're getting low numbers. That's a dollar. Let's go one more time. Two, one, two, and six dollars. Okay. Alrighty. So five and six. Okay, so let's see what we have all together. We have. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eighty-eight dollars, you guys. Woohoo! We are doing so good, and we're right here. I'm gonna get a sticky note just so I don't forget and think that I need to start at the top because I always do that. So we're right here, you guys. Alrighty. Let's put this to the side. Hold, please. Okay, so back to the beginning, after the Run Your Race. Oh, we have our Away in the Manger from Ren. <sighs> She's a little spicy, you guys. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's pick a card. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wow, how perfect is that? Let me make sure I did that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve dollars, you guys. Woohoo! That was so perfect. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoever thought? 
Whoever thought that I would get so excited about something like that. Okay, so we have 20 plus 12 is $32 in our Away in the Manger, you guys. Yahoo! So exciting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put my little bow clippy here. And we'll start here next week after our bundle and our race. And no IOU, you guys. How fabulous! Okay, so... Let me put this away, and we finished one challenge today, you guys, so let me get, um, okay, let me get my belt envelope. I'll be right back. Hold, please. Okay, so we have my belt envelope, and this is a challenge from Donna Powered by Creativity, and you just add a dollar every time you complete a challenge. So I finished one today. Yay us. So we're going to add a dollar to my bell envelope. Did I, I ring the bell? Yes? Yes. Okay, so there goes that. And then this goes in here. And you guys, we are saving on top of our savings. And that is the first one completed for October. So that is going to do it for me today, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Be sure to check out the description box for links to all the things. And, um, you know, just, just as a reminder, again, that God loves you and he sees you and he um, He knows what you're going through and he, he won't forget you. And we just need to lean into that. And for, I mean, I'm sure all of you who are here for Faith Fridays are praying people. So if you could just, you know, keep, uh, keep everyone who was affected by Helene just keep them in your prayers, you guys. Um, even if you don't know what to pray, like, I don't know what to pray sometimes. Like, I don't know what specifically these people need, but God knows. So just lift them in prayer and, you know, God knows what they need and he will meet them where he needs to. So anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a great weekend ahead and I will see you guys all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.